Welcome to Tomahawk DIY everyone, I'm Mike. Here I am camping in the beauties of Yellowstone, enjoying geysers, wildlife, and, uh, and my tent here had had a great big windstorm come through on our last camping trip down in southern Utah. Tore it up and it broke at least three tent poles. Um, I want to show you how I used fiber fix to fix them. So, you can see when this windstorm blew the whole tent over, it was staked down and yet the whole thing blew over, uh, filled with our gear, it was quite the wind that came through. Ripped some holes in it and broke some tent poles. So right here, here's two of the three poles that were broken. You can see they've been wrapped back up. Um, now that we're here in Yellowstone, uh, they've been holding just great and uh, are extremely strong. Because of the tightness of the, the wrap and the way it uh, plays out, it wasn't any problem at all uh, to put the tents through the different sleeves and, and loops and attachments, um, and yet they're holding nice and secure. So let's take a look at how we fixed this. Abby and I are gonna show you how to repair some fiberglass poles. Here is a tent pole that's damaged. Tent pole so that's it's, damaged. it's split down the middle. Abby and I fixed a, tent, a couple of tent poles earlier. She's gonna show, show you our fix. Okay, so this is fixed nice and firm here. I was really impressed with it. I used fiber fix, okay? This is my first time actually using this product. I appreciate the opportunity to work with FiberFix. You can buy this through my affiliate link at fiberfix.tomahawkdiy.com to get a great deal. Now in full disclosure, they sent this product to me at no cost for the repair. And we have an affiliate agreement which sends a commission my way for product sales. That said, in no way did they restrict my comments. I found this to be a great product and I'll be using it for years to come. So, let me show you how to do it. It doesn't take very long to do the fix. Um, just a little bit of the beginning, there's a 15 minute wait period to let it cure, and then after that it seems to be done. So let's, uh, let's take a closer look. Because this has to slide in to a female coupling, so there's a male-female part that join together, I can't do a fiber fix right here around the end, otherwise it's not going to slide together properly. So what I'm going to do, I can see where the mark is, uh, how far it slides in. I'm going to take some just blue painter's tape to kind of, and this will serve two purposes. One, it'll help hold the pole together while we do the repair, since the way these uh, poles are splitting is kind of running down, down the length of the pole. And then the second thing it will do is help me know how close to the end to use the fiber fix. I'm just gonna wrap it with blue tape. There we go. In the box comes a few important things. Got some gloves, okay, sandpaper, the kit. Now you do not want to open the pouch um, because it is activated by air and then uh, water will activate it further. And you only have a few minutes to work with it um, once this pouch is open. So you want to have all your stuff ready, kind of know what you're doing, think through your repair before you open the pouch. And it's got this final wrap. All right, they send instructions. Uh, I give you five easy steps to get this thing fixed. So let's show those. First step is to take our item to be repaired. And we're gonna use the sandpaper that they send with it uh, because this is a pretty smooth surface. So it needs to be roughed up a bit. And just rough it up the whole length. All right, so the next thing we need to do is uh, get our gloves on and get the water ready and then we'll open, open the pouch up. Okay, so here's my pouch. Um, I'm gonna open it and then it goes into the water for five seconds. Okay, I know Abby's gonna help I put in the water. This, this pouch is a tight pouch. You might even want scissors for it. Um, but there we go. Careful, don't lose the thing. Abby will help take this out and we'll count our five seconds. Okay, put in the water. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. Okay, take it out. It says to squeeze it a little bit. Okay, 
Gonna squeeze it, so we're squishing the water out. Okay. Now I'm gonna start repairing. Now, unlike um, some other tape and things you might use, this actually is gonna harden however, however it looks um, as you do it. So the instructions recommend pulling it tightly. Okay, so I'm applying the pressure with each wrap here. And it's a time sensitive item. So I wanna keep this working fairly quickly here. And you'll begin to feel this start get kinda of sticky and tacky as you use it. That's normal. Yep, that's normal. That's part of how this product performs. Okay, pulling it good and tight. Now, you wanna get your fix. Kinda of squeeze it, you'll feel it be kinda of tacky. As you squeeze it here, I'm trying to smooth out any bumps. See the end is kinda of flagging open here. All right, let's squeeze it all down. Now, Abby, take this. It includes this vinyl that you're supposed to wrap around it. And that's gonna help it cure. Um, maybe it kinda contains some moisture, so. I'm just gonna work on wrapping this. Okay. All right, once we've got this wrapped, now you need to give it 15 minutes, okay? So we're gonna go away and wait for about uh, 10, 15, 15 minutes, and then come back and unwrap it and see how it did. Okay, you got yours on? All right, okay. So, drum roll please, we're back 15 minutes later. We're gonna go ahead and unwrap these. Okay, so they uh, feel dry, maybe just a touch of kind of moisture left in them. Applying some pressure here, certainly feels firm. We'll give it a try. Seems like a great fix. Here you can see where the uh, fiber fix has been used to fix this tent pole. Apply some pressure and it's, it's really hard. In fact, it's more solid than, than the pole itself. Fiber fix worked great for fixing my tent poles. I plan to keep some in my car, in my camping gear, and in my garage. There's lots of different ways I can imagine putting this product to use. Think about some, leave a comment, and let me know what ideas you have on ways to use fiber fix beyond fixing tent poles. I might just make some future videos trying those out. If you'd like to pick some up, please go through my affiliate link, fiberfix.tomahawkdiy.com. That sends a commission my way helping support Tomahawk DIY, a business with a mission to help people in some of Earth's most dire circumstances build better lives. Learn more about that on my website. Please like the video, subscribe, and have a great day.